Hello there, and welcome to the War Factory for today, March the 23rd. I know you were like, oh, thank God we're finally rid of this guy, but, um, uh, come on, I can't pass up on the War Factory. And actually, when I took a look at today's War Factory, I kind of, it, it, it gave me pause, okay? I, it, it took me a minute, and I'm not going to lie to you, I, I looked at it like two or three times, and I was like, okay, if I, like, take out these, I could do, like, a rifle Zooka, and if I do this, I could use tanks, and if I take out this, and, like, I was trying to figure things out, and it's brutal, because right along, um, you know, the, the areas that I was looking to land, um... There, like, there's there's defenses there that take out uh, your 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 squishies, and there's defenses there that take out your well the the grapplers. Let's let's just put it like no grens, no heavies, and no tanks, because the grapplers are just gonna pull them away, and everything's gonna go insane. And you can't have anything too squishy too close to the HQ because there's a bank of laser beams that has range on the the HQ and and like in behind the HQ is gonna do horrible horrible things um, so I decided the the only sane thing was to take out the rocket launchers with some GBE and then take out the shock launchers with some zookas and uh, and, and uh, as you could see, obviously, from my GBE attack, the first one there, I decided, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop the shield gens this time. And then I can park right in front of the, the doom cannons. One shock on the laser, one shock on the doom cannons, and just pew, 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 win the internet. So I thought, yes, this is brilliant. I have a masterful plan. I am going to plan the crap out of this it's gonna be great so I worked out my GBE I had my my like paths planned out I was not expecting one Zooka to be like YOLO flamethrowers but like hey that's fine I'm not gonna judge so I I got to here I was all very excited I I knew everything was go it was gonna be great and then I started throwing shocks bam bam and completely forgot to take into account the energy that would be required by my lovely hero to kick off her ability so I didn't get the shock on the shock launchers and I lost my mind I was just like oh my goodness I can't believe I did that epic noob move so guys remember Boom Beach Wiki has an energy calculator and if you plug in what you want to do it'll tell you exactly what you need um, don't don't do as Donnie don't just did because that would be foolish so attack number two I'm like alright well now obviously I've got to finish attack number one and I've got to do attack number two but I was like you know what no I don't I don't I've got lots of extra attacks I got lots of stuff going on all I'm gonna do is take out the the blasters or sorry launchers technically they are launchers uh, take out the launchers that I was expecting to take out and then take out the shield gen which was gonna be like step two of that first attack to take out as much shield gen as possible um, so what I did to kind of balance things out, because I figured there's no way I would have gotten both shield gens, I was like, eh, just blow up a machine gun for the fun of it, why the heck not? And then refocused over to the, the shield gen, finished it off, and then let myself wipe out. And then I moved into attack number three, but really attack number four, because... Beardy Bork, what can I say? I... Look at this, I'm not doing daily videos and I'm already getting rusty. This is bad news. Maybe I'll have to take it all... No, no, sorry. I had too much fun yesterday. I fixed my couch. Uh, I know, glamorous life, right? <laughs> uh, but anyways, so final attack. I mean, attack number three, not final attack. Uh, <laughs> quick, easy smoke over to the shield gen a couple of critter batches because it distracts away and then 
a quick smoke back on top of the Zookas just to keep them nice and safe after taking out the shield gen and then a short walk over in front of the HQ flare onto the HQ kick off the boost and throw two shocks which you know normally would have hit the machine gun and which is why I took the machine gun out I was like all right it's not gonna matter and then wham wham thank you ma'am and by ma'am I mean you know your heart aka the traitor no 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 i didn't just say that that's not no it's not true it's not true not true at all mostly because Gearheart rocks the like red and the traitor rocks a brown coat so clearly clearly not the same and then i was like well what do you do when you've got a klondike bar no wait what would you do for a klondike what do you do when you have a whole bunch of Zookas from an attack? Well, of course, the answer is um, share them. Share them with the world. So I decided to share them. Unfortunately, as I said, one day off. I'm already getting rusty here. I forgot one minor detail. That minor detail being the record button. Um... <laughs> Yee! So, here's a replay, because replays are a thing, and, uh, ooh, wow, alright, I know, rough start, rough start, it's cool, it's okay, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, we're cool, it's cool, we're gonna get this, we're gonna get there, it'll be, it'll be okay, it'll be okay, I promise. So, uh, I noticed in the back corner there, there's a, there, there were a couple buildings very conveniently placed. Oops, that looks like a double tap. I thought I had double smoked there for a second. I guess not. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I figured okay, I one barrage, I can kind of clear that out, and then I can move everybody into range of the HQ. And because you're like way in the back corner there, absolutely love corner bases. Just saying, pew pew pew, you can take out an HQ with like relatively few losses. Now, admittedly, I'm pretty sure this guy had, like, no blue, but... Oh, well, well, no, no, it looked like there was a blue there. Well, um, awkward. Uh, this guy also apparently has to blue, but what else? So, uh, that, that was kind of my approach with the old corner base. If you can get into that back corner, it's awesome, because you can throw your critters in between your troops and all of the defenses because they're all on the other side of the HQ and then throw down a few shocks in that area it prevents any flamethrowers machine guns or whatever from just AOE frying your critters before they're you know really useful um, it also prevents all those defenses from trying to fry your zookas and uh, you you can just kinda sit there and pew pew away the reason that I say Zookas is, and, and really am running Zookas, it's not just because the Zookas were left over, but, uh, you know, we've been talking about a lot, a lot in the task force. It almost feels like even though the Warriors weren't given uh, a nerf specifically, they kind of were given a nerf indirectly because uh with the zookas you can you can roll through with brick and get like that boost and it's great and stuff but if you're rolling around with warriors there's not a really nice clean way of of rolling with brick unless you're doing like a double smoke immediately beside the hq and it's like very awkward and unwieldy and not 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 nice at all um, this is obviously a slightly older attack uh, sans brick because well like I said I've got tons of footage and just no time to do anything with it well now I can use some of it up huzzah um, anyways but yeah uh, uh, with with the warriors kind of things being different and the whatnots and the hey hey whoopies um, Zookas might be the new warriors. I, d I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Um, but I feel like like the Zookas with brick behind them, especially when you start getting brick leveled up a little bit and that, that battle cry gets like really amplified, uh, just, oh, 
awesome, awesome things going to be happening with the AZ Crushes. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully it's been entertaining. And most importantly, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day.